make me uh, not look bald. Hi, this is Yossi Videsta, 52 Frames. I uh, just wanted to come with a quick tip here. Uh, I see so often on our monthly photo walks, people that just get their DSLR cameras or even people that have been shooting for a while, they make the most fundamental mistake in shooting and I think this is so important to learn is how to hold the camera properly. Uh, it makes such a big difference with stability, especially when you get into longer shutter speeds. So basically you want to hold the camera with your left hand underneath the body with your fingers on the lens and then with your right hand then you bring it around and obviously your finger on the shutter. The biggest error that I see that amateurs uh, do when they're holding the camera is they have their hand on this side on the lens instead of on the bottom. So when your fingers are here holding the lens, first of all you're, you're actually causing more shake by having your fingers on the lens and you're holding the camera up, you're using your strength to hold the camera up in the air as opposed to it resting on your left hand. Kids playing. Are you sure that's what you want? This okay. is what life's about, Jeremy. This is... Don't screw this up. <laughs> that's the first most important component of holding the camera steady. The other is to keep your elbows on your body, okay? So your elbows should be actually in front of your rib cage, tucked in so that you you're have a, two points of support, like a tripod. And the third point of support is actually the viewfinder on your eye, on your eyebrow. So holding the camera to your face, you have now a super stable three points of support, uh, which is so much better than like holding it out in the air like this that I see people do. Okay, another great stabilizing position is actually in the seating position. Uh, it's especially good when you're getting shots lower to the ground. And the key to this is you want your elbow on your knee. So again, you're creating a point of contact of stability here, and I'm just sitting on my, on my back foot. I don't know if that's in the frame. The third position I want to show you is the lying down position, uh, because it's all about getting the shot. If you're not looking ridiculous while you're shooting, then you're not doing a good enough job. So let's get down and dirty. All right, now that you're looking ridiculous, you can keep your elbows on the floor for two points of contact and your camera to your face for your third point of contact. And this is just a great vantage point to get some really dramatic shots. All right, so that's your quick tip on how to properly hold a camera. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more quick tips from yours truly and other professionals in the photography world. And visit 52frames.com for more information on our weekly photo challenge project. Happy shooting.